And the last short-term thing um, that, that comes to mind is just talking to them about failure, you know, about how incredibly important failure is. And the positive psychologist that I studied with, Dr. Talpan Shahar, he um, said, you know, if you, um, you know, if you fail to, um, to learn, you learn to fail, you know, because you've, um, you have to understand how to fail. That's just part of, of our learning process. None of us are going to get it right all of the time. But for those who are vulnerable and feel like it's very hard for them to put themselves out there, um, they can effectively just give up and say, I'm, I'm not going to try because, you know, all they feel like they've experienced is failure. So, you know, helping them, and there's some great stories out there with people who are, you know, fabulous failures, like Michael Jordan's got a great um, quote right. around mm -hmm. failure and how, you know, how many shots he's missed and how many games he's lost and everything that can be really inspiring for students. And how many strikeouts that, uh, yeah, he, there you go. Has versus how many home runs is, yeah, know, Yogi exactly. Bear and stuff. I had, uh, I listened to, uh, uh, a clip with the lady that de developed the Spanx uh, mm -hmm. clothing line. And uh, she said every day it, when she was growing up, every night that she came home, uh, her dad would say, how many times did you fail today? Mm -hmm. And she went, what, how many times did you fail today? And they would talk about at their evening table, yeah. the failures. And she said she grew up thinking, well, failure is just part of the process. And, mm -hmm. and we live in America today where a lot of times failure is looked at as failure, whereas failure ab ab absolutely should be looked at as uh, part of that growth and part of that growth mindset, which you said. So uh, yeah. well, really sure. glad you brought that up. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got a great image, which you know, is like what people think success looks like. And it's a very straight line from like, you know, lower and it goes up with like an arrow, very smooth. And they're like, what, what success actually looks like success actually looks like, and it's this very squiggly and it's all over the place, you know, line, which is generally still going upwards, but with lots of downward trends, you know, that's, and, and again, I think it's the fact that social media puts it out right. there of, oh, you know, oh gosh, I put this song out and it was a smash hit. And, you know, I've done this, I've done that. And for us as adults, sometimes it can be hard to parse through and not feel a bit depressed by, oh, their life looks so much shinier and more pretty than mine. Mm -hmm. And for our young people, it just becomes literally, I mean, emotional firebomb after emotional firebomb. Yeah. And, um, and that can really play on their their well-being and even the the kids that have gone through trauma then then it's easy for them to look at themselves as failures and mm -hmm. actually take some of that uh some of that upon themselves and thinking that it's that it's their fault so oh for sure absolutely or you know this is the path that my parents took and that's the likely path that i will take as well yeah. right and and that's something that again you know purpose can have create a really protective factor, um, you know, against that kind of thinking. So, um, so again, just to talk about, you know, what purpose is we've, we've mentioned, it's what you're good at, what you love to do and what the world means and looking at that, that, um, central place of, you know, where the, all those things overlap. So.